Hey, Chris Brown here again. This time drinking a couple beers and cleaning out my sump pump. Well, I had it all apart. I figured I'd show you guys my ultimate sump pump system. Let's start with the sump basin. Uh, originally, there was a cement basin in here, which I didn't like for three reasons. One, it didn't have a lid. Two, it wasn't very deep and it had a cement base to it, so after it was done raining, it couldn't perk water back into the ground. Uh, and three, it had large gaping holes around the perimeter of it, which would allow sediment from to wash out from under the basement. So I got this one at Home Depot. It's 22 inches deep. It's made out of plastic and about 21 inches wide. I drilled a bunch of holes in the sides of it and the bottom. So that way when it's done raining, the water can perk back down into the ground. Uh, I then wrapped it in four layers of landscape fabric and installed it. When I excavated this out, I went about a foot and a half to two feet deeper and added crushed stone, compacted that down real good. So tied into it is my main tubes from the French drain in this basement. And this basement does flow a lot of water when it rains. That's why I went to extremes with the sump pump. Now the main pump is a Zoller M57. Uh, that's tied into the main outlet here, which comes up. So the water comes up, goes in this check valve here, goes, I usually keep this ball valve open here, which you're thinking, what is he going to the sewer there or something like that? No, that's actually going to a, a old uh, dry well on the property, that tube going out of the basement. So let's say that one was to clog and fail. It then goes up out the outside of the house. So let's say this system, this pump was to fail or we to lose power. Our second backup is the sump jet. This is uh, Liberty Pumps SJ10 sump jet. And I like this pump. It's powered off your municipal water. So I have a uh, municipal water line, flex line right there. It goes on top of here. And when you get that 60 PSI high volume, high pressure water coming through, it pulls high pressure, low pressure, pulls the water up, up here and out the side of the house. Up your, your set that has its own line, own, own check valve, goes outside of the house. Uh, by the way, this is all inch and a half PVC. Now let's say that system was to fail. Okay, well then I have an alarm switch here, which will call my alarm company and say, they should call me and say, oh, listen, your, your, your sump pump's failing. Okay, uh, over here we have the Zoller M53. That's my spare pump. I just keep that as a spare. I have a spare check valve and I also have a spare float switch. Uh, this is the cover that goes on top of it all. And then I have this little removable plug here so I can test the pumps with this uh, you know, piece of copper wire. Just reach in there and check the pumps if I ever need to. Um, it's just plexiglass, so that's why I put no step on there because I don't want people stepping on it and breaking it. Um, that's the basics on the system. If you have any questions about how I installed the sump basin or anything else about it, feel free to comment. Um, I also have my line from my you know dehumidifier that drops into here. So once it's all together, uh, you know, I'll just put that on there. And everything's been working great. I've had it in here for a year. Today I was just taking it apart just to clean it out and make sure everything was functional since we got some storms on the way. Um, you know, that's pretty much it. I'll show you real quick what it looks like all together, too. And here's what the system looks like once it's all together. Nice and clean. Got your spare parts back there. And, uh, yeah. You can look down in your cover and see, make sure how much water's in there, if there's any problems. Got your service port here to reach your piece of copper wire down and check out either, uh, either sump pump or the, the switch also for the alarm. Uh, it won't allow any moisture or very much at all to to wick out of here. You got these O-rings at the base, which uh, you know keep it nice and sealed. And <clears throat> got your ball valve over here. Turn the water on to the main sump jet, and, and you're all ready to go for any storm. Uh, questions or comments? Uh, feel free. If you guys got something you would add to this system? Let me know, because I think I pretty much covered most of the angles, but if uh, any comments, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching.